Hi guys, welcome back to IO Sharing Community. Okay, and today in this video, we're gonna talk about reading skills. Yep, and this is the first episode uh, in the series of video that we make to help you improve your reading skills. Well, actually, we got three main uh, stages. Remember, so we got the first one. It's about fundamental reading skills, and the second one uh, here is about critical reading skills. And later on, we prepare for the test, IELTS reading test. Yeah, remember. And for today, we just focus on the first stage, this one, huh? Like before we read. Okay, are you ready? Let's get started. So, a common question is: Should we jump in and read the text from the top to the bottom, read from cover to cover? Yes, no. All right, let's find out. Okay, so for some kind of books like romantic books or comics, and then you read for entertainment. Right, so it's okay. So you just need to read、um, and enjoy it. However, for academic books or some research or journals, we need to have good、uh, reading strategies to to read and understand. Okay, imagine you read a journal, including you know like. Dozens of pages, so it's it's a nightmare, right? If we just try to read from the top to the bottom, some tips. So what we need to do today is to review the text and then do some steps before we read. So at first, we will learn how to preview a text, and then. Find out about the topic and try to link what you already know about the topic.、Uh, you can check your understanding of the topic. In other words, you can assess your knowledge background. And the next step is to read with purposes. So that's going to help you、uh, stay focused when you read, and then you can get comprehension, or you can have a deeper. Understanding of the passage. Okay, so I have an article here for you. Okay, this is a short one, but we can apply some steps that、uh, we can do、huh, before we jump in and read the passage. So the first one, you need to preview a text. Right, what you need to do at first, you need to run your eyes quickly over the title. This is the title. Right, it's like how to train the leaders for military. So the next one, this one then, huh? You can read heading or subheadings. So for this one, we don't have any subheadings. And then you can look at the visuals, like photo, and then you can read the caption as well. In this one, we can see a photo here. So it's the U.S. Military Academy, West Point. They may give you some new concepts, so it's good to read, and then we can have more information. So, based on some information here, we can find out the topic by reading the title. You can find out the topic of the passage. For this one, like okay, so how to train the leaders for military? So, if you read a research or an article or a journal. So it's good if you read abstract, or introduction, or conclusion. So it's gonna give you some information, or overview about the research passage like this. So you can read some first couple of sentences of each paragraph, and then you can get some more information. For example, here. Okay, so for paragraph one, I'm trying to. Read、um, first two sentences of paragraph. So actually, here I can see uh, leaders uh, are essential. It's really important 
to the welfare of U.S. society. Okay, so I can see like uh, military leader uh, are really important. So we need to nurture. We need to develop. The next one, developing talent for military poses special challenges. So poses here means like courses, right? Course some courses something. There are some difficulties when we develop talent for the military. And keep doing like that for paragraph three. U.S. Army must consider certain factors to produce strategic thinking abilities. Okay, so we talk about some factors that we can do to develop talent for the military. How about paragraph number four? So we got other factors. Yeah, maybe like other factors to develop、uh, leaders for the military, right? So actually, you can see、uh, there are some steps that we can do to preview a text. So after previewing the text, so we have some information, right? We know the topic and some main ideas, you know, like the overview of the passage. So what we're gonna do next? So for this one, you need to link to what you already know. So you can ask yourself, what do you know? Like what I know, already know about the topic. So for this one, for me, so when it comes to this topic, alright. So I think, okay. So how to develop talent? Alright. So it's about education.、Uh, it's about. School, right? School, or maybe university. All right. So university, and then I'm thinking of the methodology or the method. How to change people?、Uh, maybe something like curriculum. I don't know. Maybe something like that, and.、Uh, What else? Talk about trainer, trainers.、Uh, who gonna, who, who's gonna train、uh, some leaders for the military, right? Something like that. I'm thinking of what I know about the topic. It's a good chance for me to, you know, like evaluate my knowledge. Something like that. It's really good. And the last step. We need to read with purposes, so that's gonna help us stay focused when we read. We will not get lost. So what we can do is to form some questions. Okay, you can think of W H questions, huh? Who, what, when, where, why, how. So those are some steps that you can do to preview. The text, what we need to do before we read, and、uh, hope you like it. And you, you need to practice, and you can see, yeah, it's really useful. It just takes around like a couple of minutes, but it's really useful. And please try it, okay? And、uh, don't forget to、uh, subscribe this channel、uh, because I'm gonna make another video about some techniques that we we can apply when we read the passage. Skimming, scanning, or how how to identify main ideas, supporting details, and stuff like that. Okay, and yep, see you soon. And once again, thank you so much. And see you next time. Bye.